Thank you very much, Jim. Um, and so, yes, thank you for joining us tonight for our introduction to the IBEW Code of Excellence. So tonight's program um, is simply an overview of the Code of Excellence program. It's not diving deep into anything specifically. It's simply intended to um, explain a little bit about the program for you. Um, Jim, I believe we have a poll to launch. There's two of them. So on the screen in front of you, uh, the first poll is asking you, have you worked on an IBEW Code of Excellence job? Yes or no? So just to get an idea of how many people are familiar with Code of Excellence or know it, um, if you're able to respond to the poll in front of you, or you can pop it into the chat. Um, it's simply a yes or a no. Have you worked on an IBEW Code of Excellence job? All right, let's go ahead and end that, Jim. And so predominantly, no. Um, so it's fairly split. So yes, a few people have worked on a code of excellence job. Some have not. So um, that's good to know. So some of you are definitely here to learn more about it, which is awesome. Um, we do have a second poll, Jim. Um, this next poll it is not popping up for me, Kate. Oh, should we stop share results, maybe? Yeah. Okay. And then slide there nine, poll two. There. there we go. Thank you. Okay. So this poll likely is going to have a fairly similar response. Have you attended an IBEW Code of Excellence training course through your local union? So if you haven't been on a job, you may not have been through a training course, or you may have been um, and just haven't seen it on the job yet. All right. I think we can probably end that poll. And so this one's split 50-50. <laughs> yes, some of you have. And no, some of you have not. So that's great. So um, let's jump into it now that we have an idea of whether you have some experience with it or not. Um, we'll discuss the history. So um, the Code of Excellence originated in the 8th District, serving workers in Colorado, Idaho, Montana, Utah, and Wyoming. Um, that's the, the states that, cover, that are covered in the 8th District. Two apprentices turned out and wrote to explain that while they were thankful they, um, to the IBW for their apprenticeship um, and helping them to complete it, they were not actually interested in becoming IBEW members. And the reason that they explained is that the journey people they had worked with left them with a bad taste for the IBEW. Um, then International Representative Ted Jensen addressed this problem of apprentice retention in the 8th District by developing this training program we know today as the Code of Excellence for his internal members in Colorado in 2002. So the Code of Excellence got its start in the construction branch and it was um, started due to the loss of work as well as the IBEW um, not being considered the first choice. A next piece of the history is that during a job in the 7th District, the 7th District covers the states of Arizona, Kansas, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Texas, at an Intel plant, Phase 1, IVP Gardner asked International Representative Steve Spears, who is now our present well, their present day international vice president, Steve Spears was asked to go out and walk the job. This job walk led to the realization of the need to become more interactive 
with the contractor to build the relationship between the union and the contractor. This addition to the program was the icing on the cake for the complete Code of Excellence program we have today. Um, and at that point, that contractor piece added to the program, expanded the program and the program itself then began to spread out and be adapted across North America. In approximately 2005, then President um, Hill decided that the Code of Excellence is the way the IBEW does business. And therefore, IBEW locals do not need contractor to contract or contractor buy-in, sorry, to implement the program. The Code of Excellence training and program will instill pride in IBEW members. It will uphold, it does uphold our collective agreements by setting a higher standard of workmanship, craftsmanship, and accountability, putting us in a position of coaching ourselves and holding members accountable to the IBEW core values. So the IBEW had developed a program um, to address the needs of loss of work and the IBEW no longer being considered the first for the jobs. So their response was to empower the membership to take personal responsibility for the future of their work and the future of their union. So how do we do that? Well, the Code of Excellence program um, the leaders and members commit to demonstrating the IBEW's core values in everything they do. Those core values are known as SPARC, which we saw in the chat. Um, and so SPARC stands for safety, professionalism, accountability, relationships, and quality. In the electrical industry, the customer or the end user of our services will determine whether we perform future work. So it's important when people think of the IBEW that they think of quality, professionalism, safety, and overall excellence. When that happens, we're seen as the first choice for the job. So the, with that as our objective, the goals of the program are to create a culture where safety is top priority, where we hold one another accountable to the standards of excellence, we provide a mechanism for addressing issues on the job before they escalate, and we promote a sense of pride in our work. So members are the face of our union on the job and in their communities. The story being told about who we are should not be defined by the few bad apples, but by the hardworking majority. And our customers and communities should be confident that the people who do the work care about quality, safety, and accountability. Um, international President Lonnie Stevenson supports the Code of Excellence program. Um, and so he has said, when you do your job right, our employers notice. When you're the safest and most professional, the customer notices. And when you do both, everyone notices. The International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers Code of Excellence for the electrical industry is designed to ensure the highest standard of excellence on each and every IBEW workplace. And that's not just specific to the electrical industry, but all IBEW industries. Um, <clears throat> so market share talks about the percentage or the position of the industry's market that is controlled by the union. And market recovery is defining ways to capture more of the market. At this time, I have another poll that will launch. And I'm curious to know, as the union, are we responsible for the market share? The answer is yes or no, you can choose one or the other. Are we as the union responsible for the market share? And again, market share defined is the percentage or position of the industry's market that is controlled by the union. Still a few more 
registering responses. Okay, I think we can probably end that. And the results, so 86% of us believe that we are, yes, responsible for the market share. And I would agree. Um, and so there's one more poll and I'm interested to know as individuals, the workers and members, do we have a responsibility in market recovery? Yes or no? So do we have a responsibility in market recovery? And again, market recovery is defining ways to capture more of the market. All right, I think we're probably, everybody's had a chance, yep, okay. So 93% say yes, we do have a responsibility in that. Absolutely we do. And so um, the Code of Excellence program helps to um, address those two concerns, right? The market share as well as the market recovery. So now in the chat, um, I'm curious to know, from the customer or the employer or the contractor's point of view, what do you believe are some of their truths about IBEW members? So what do they say, how would they describe IBEW members? Just pop your response there into the chat. Um, the contractor, the customer, the employer's point of view. How do they view IBEW members? Jim, you're muted. I would love to hear. <laughs> yeah, we have not always the best um, organized. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can say positive truths yeah, or negative maybe. truths. <laughs> Anything. Yeah. yeah maybe. maybe. Um, so I'll put in there that the contractor's performance is the key. That they're going to look at they're going to look at how the contractors got the work done. Okay. Uh, experienced employees. That's great. Looks like that's we're slowing down here. Okay. Yeah. Where contractors know the value of the IBEW member. They know the value. Okay. So they right. value us, I perhaps. Okay. <clears throat> so hey, do we have just a minute for a comment on this? Yes, of course, please. All right, you know, so it was a study done by the building trades a number of years ago. Um, and it was done North American building trades, uh, the overall building trades. And they asked the contractors to categorize the workers within the IBEW, right? Within, the, within our industry is what it was. And they put us into three categories and they said the first 15%, the top 15% of workers on any job are top notch. These are the people who go there, they give it all, they do as much as they can every day, every single day. They are just, they are the stars, all right? Then they said there's 70% of the people who go to work and they are solid, solid, solid performers. You can count on them. They might not be the fastest, they might not, you know, but they, you can count on them. And then they put 15% of us and they said there's 15% of us that spend more time trying to figure out how not to do work than actually get the work done. Hmm. So 15%. Right. Yeah. Interesting. So from a contractor's perspective, we may not always be the best person or the even the employer's perspective, we may not be the best employees. Right. All right. So this is why 
This is the why behind the IBW Code of Excellence. So the IBW Code of Excellence is intended to promote professionalism, enhance competitiveness in the job market, improve organizing opportunities, and improve perception of IBEW by employer and customers. The company's success leads to the member's success. Again, in the chat tool, I'm curious to know why, what would we like for our customer, contractor, employer's truths to be? What is the ideal? What truths do we want them speaking about the IBEW? We have using the IBW uh, brings great value. Mm -hmm. Quality, quality uh, uh, of our finished finished products. Quality is great. That would be a lovely truth. Fair wages. Mm -hmm. We walk the talk and live up the COE. I love that because that goes across every sector that we're talking about. Utility, uh, railroad, that 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 we're there. Efficient, safe workers. Once again, it it it, it speaks to all our utilities. Is that uh, great workers? All right, that's great. So. As Jim was saying, the Code of Excellence is absolutely available to all sectors of the IBEW. It may have begun back in the day in the construction industry. Um, it has been developed to um, span across all sectors. Um, so the Code of Excellence program puts out a quarterly newsletter, the IBEW Spark newsletter. Um, so this is from the spring of 2020. Um, and so that's where you can go to find um, details about the successful um, programs and endeavors that um, local unions are having with the Code of Excellence program, how it's benefiting their um, market share, and how it's um, improving their relationships with their employers. In Canada, um, in 2016, Local 37, um, under the leadership of business manager Ross Galbraith, who is also our International Executive Council member, um, at New Brunswick Power, was voted Canada's best health and safety culture of 2016. Um, and so it was great to be recognized for their commitment to safety, but the fact that brothers and sisters looking out for one another on the job, nothing is more important than that. And so um, that's something that we can be proud of. Any business managers who are interested or wondering about implementing the Code of Excellence program um, can certainly reach out and um, learn more about how business manager Ross Galbraith um, implemented the program and his success with it. So that's um, definitely a point of pride for us here in the first district. So how is the code of excellence implemented? So we do have local union membership training available and we also have excellence stewards training. So that's a specific um, Code of Excellence version of stewardship training. So when a local union commits to the IBEW Code of Excellence, there is a formal training program that has been implemented across the United States and Canada. Local union leadership provides training for members about the expectations and opportunities that align with the implementation of the Code of Excellence. Training is also available for job site supervisors, 
in addition to membership training, excellent stewards receive a specific training that enables them to carry out the program on the job site. These stewards are the critical link between the members, union leadership, and the employer. Once the program is implemented, ongoing awareness and communication is a core component of keeping the values of the Code of Excellence at the forefront of every job site. So, steps to adopting the IBEW Code of Excellence at the local union level. So the first step is that the International Service Representative and the Education Department present the Code of Excellence to the local union's executive board at the specific request of the business manager. Then the local union executive board in consultation with the business manager would recommend the Code of Excellence program be adopted by the local union via a, a vote, sorry, of the membership at a general meeting. Once that vote has taken place, and if the local union membership are all in favor of it, then the local union implements the Code of Excellence training program for the membership, stewards, and the local union business manager presents the Code of Excellence to the employers or the contractors for buy-in. And those are the steps. Um, has anyone had any questions? I've realized I've flown through those. <laughs> so <laughs> we've reached the point of the evening. Does anyone have any questions or comments about the Code of Excellence program? Um, please feel welcome to unmute yourself um, if you would like to ask directly or pop a question into the chat. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. Um, I hope we've piqued your interest and we will see you again on um, our next webinar. Have a great night. Take care. Stay safe.